I talked about him like a dog, and I don't, and I, and part of the, my free speech, even right. though I, people, you know, those in the public eye tend to, you know, be more graceful about right. it. I think that the president is open to those kinds As of criticism. Public figure. I don't know if you can have him cut his, you have an effigy cutting his right. throat. It's one but, thing to say, right. right, it's another thing to hang him on your, and, right. on your balcony. Exactly, exactly. But I didn't like what they did to him. Sarah Palin. Thank you. I've defended That's her. Wrong. I can't stand her. I get but it. I just, you know, that, just that let you know. That went a little bit She's much. a mother. She's got but children. I didn't agree with any of that But I still think when you're in that public, see, that I don't, I think that's what comes with the territory. It comes with the territory. As a public figure, people pick on me now. They will pick on me after yes, I get elected. Forever. I'll stick up for you, Pete. Well, I appreciate it. Right, Thank now. you. <laughs> Who's behind we going to kick today? Don't <laughs> mess with my Pete. <laughs> you know, you got to have a strong kahunas when you're in this game of politics. Yeah. As a commentator. Let me check. As a, those who have opinion. Oh, those who soft. wear green hats on their head and come from different planets um, that work with you on the show. You you kind of worth, worth these people. And you, you kind of got to do the best you can. We're going to see a video one Here we day. go. I'm ready. And this video is going to show you. We're going to talk now. I'll start talking about state issues because we have a wonderful state candidate running for congressman, and his name is Pete Kesterson. 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 Oh, you misspelled it. That's no one because you said that. Come on, you guys. She misspelled it on the email. No wonder we're out. Whatever. Very incompetent. Whatever. Now you see what I have to deal with. Yeah, I'm. Show the video. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Radio. Gotcha. Blind talk. Blind well, talk about the Tea Party. Well, you can keep setting it up. Uh, no problem. Yes. United States Congress. Here we go, California. Woo! Well, I don't know what we are. All right. Well, that was a miserable failure. Okay, you want to get a chance on the hip hop and you and you will see things on the Tea Party for the state of California across the broad from across the board from Southern California to Northern California to Central California, all the way from San Francisco, the Antelope Valley, San Diego, Arizona, California, Northern America is engaged in change for this country. Well, family, today we have a wonderful guest who's been speaking on and giving his comments on our hot topics. And now we're going to go into our guest who is running for a federal position. His name is Pete Kesterson, if I said that correctly. Um, and he is a wonderful candidate. Um, the chat room's all excited. If you're in the chat room and you feel like you want to get in there, and ask us a couple questions, you're more than welcome to. So, Pete, welcome to our show. Thank you, Shirley. It's a pleasure. <laughs> We're so having I have fun. a couple questions. Sure. Okay. Bring it on. Uh, I'm going to keep the questions kind of simple because our family is still not really big politicians. Okay. So, you know, a lot of people don't understand the difference between state senators, state congressmen, uh, assemblymen, all these different titles. Okay. Now, you're running for congressman. Correct. You're running from a federal position. Correct. What's the difference between... A senator and assemblyman. Okay. And a Here in California, we have 80 assembly districts, and those are our elected state assembly people. And then each senatorial district is made up of two assembly districts. So there's 40 state senators. They deal very specifically with California issues. Okay. I'm running as one of the 53 uh, potential candidates, if you wish, for Congress. California has 53 congressional seats two senatorial seats. That's where we have 55 electoral votes. Okay. So much of what we're going to look at from our perspective is federal issues. Um, a lot of that will affect what goes on here at the state level as well. Um, normally I have a, a code on and in that code is oh, my oh, instruction manual, but Shirley told me I had to... Take it off. To, you can take the shirt off, too. Oh, <laughs> Lord, that's another <laughs> show. I got a that is, take that's how the Republicans got in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we got to Hollywood. Y'all like to hang out in. Yeah, we got to make sure Michael tells us... <laughs> that's right. Going to those right, clubs. that's right. And who's to say they're not Republicans? Finish, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyway... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I lost my train yeah. of thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But, you were going but, there so you can in, in, in federal... In, in federal my coat pocket <laughs> is my instruction manual. Okay. okay. It's a pocket-sized copy of the United States Constitution. How can they get a hold of you real quick if they were online? 
they're online, they can go to our website, Kesterson, K E S T E R S O N, the number four, Kesterson. Congress.com. She's getting good at it. Kesterson. Mr. Kesterson. I'll drop it in the chat Let room for the folks to go and take Irish, a look. Italian, what uh, I'm a like? mix of English, Scottish, Danish. Oh, you like to drink? Scottish. Drink, drink again. Scottish. See, that's, that, that's, that's profiling. That's Scottish profiling. Scottish that's profiling. For, our, for our Scott friends, it goes back to the MacDonald clan. What, what do you like in to Scotland. drink? Oh, okay, like I know about okay. them. What do you like to drink? And on the English side, it goes back to Longfellow. <laughs> Yes, okay, wow. I know, mm -hmm. okay. And I'm kind of a mud on my mom's side. There's okay. uh, goes back to Rubenstein from Russia, uh, uh, from the Jewish oh side. Oh my God, okay. he's so really I'm all, I'm all mixed up. Um, but I keep that constitution in my coat pocket. you got some strong blood in you then. Yes, ma'am. Every day, because that's our instruction manual. That's what the federal government is supposed to do. Everything else is supposed to be left up to the states. Okay. And we've gotten to do a lot of mess, because the federal government's gotten involved in a lot of places they just plain don't belong. And that's the challenge we have, you know, not to go back to the Tea Party, but to reference the Tea Party for a moment. The only reason why it's called a Tea Party was the original reference to Boston when we right. dumped all the tea in the harbor, oh, right. right? So that was the protest against England encroaching too much into our business here in the colonies. Well, that's why it became a Tea Party. It had nothing to do with tea bagging, and this is not against you, Danny, but oh, just that, the that. Just whole general, right, no, you know, discussion. I think that's good because a lot of people don't understand the, the history of the Tea Party and the, uh, the, the in relation to to the Boston story. Correct. So that's good. So as as a federal representative, my biggest responsibility is federal issues. I think the biggest responsibility of the federal government is to keep us safe. That really translates very much down to the local level as well. Uh, we're you know policemen and firemen and. And, and that kind of stuff. Keeping the community, keeping the people safe. Are you a mayor? I mean, are you a native of uh, California? I am not. I originally grew up in South Florida. Okay. I like to say I was born in the ho in Hollywood, but the other Hollywood. Okay. Hollywood, yeah, Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood, Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood, Florida. <laughs> uh, played ball. Wanted to play in college. I was kind of, I was smaller then than I am now. And uh, so I ended up going to a small school to try to play college, okay. to play ball there. Uh, ended up not playing. They were two, three times my size and thought living was better than... Uh, playing ball, so I joined the band. And uh, after college, went to actually Washington, D.C., and got back into the music products industry, which is what I was doing when I was growing up. My mom had a chain, was partner in a chain of music stores. And uh, so that's what ultimately brought me to California. How long have you been in California? 2003. Okay. I was transferred oh. here to become the national sales manager for Roland. Okay. So it's nice to see some Roland gear here in the studio. Tell who Roland is. Roland's the world's largest manufacturer of electronic musical instruments. And you're in financing now, though. You went from that I, to finance. I kind of jump shipped. I was, you know, tired of being gone on the road three, four, you know, felt like sometimes six weeks a month. And uh, now I'm a fin financial advisor. Now, are you married? Have any kids? I have two boys. They're adopted from okay. Bulgaria. Wow. 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 It's funny. I tell the story. People say, you have any kids? And so I say, yes. And they say, well, how many have I? I say, well, two. How old? I say, well, they're 13. And I wait for the pause. Why? Because <laughs> it takes a couple of seconds to go, because well, I say, are they twins? twins. <laughs> and I say, no, they're six weeks apart. And that's when I get the polls. Oh. I got yeah, it. And they try to go. You go. Yeah. You're like Tiger. No. <laughs> there you go. That's messed up. Now, <laughs> now, do we know if Tiger's Republican or Democrat? I don't know. Well, Either way, he was wrong. Either way, he was wrong. Well, let me, now, they're from where? They're from Bulgaria. Bulgaria. They're in the same orphanage together. Wow. And to this day, they were, we got them, they were two and a half. Wow. And we're in Costco. I'll never forget this. Wow. And uh, did the same thing. How, how old are they? Are they twins? No, they're six weeks apart. And the girl at the Costco check, checkout counter says, says to my wife, Girl, when the doctor says no, that means no. <laughs> Ten years later, I still have no idea it what that means. She knew. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I have right, no right. idea. That was yeah, that's that's what what honey. Was, that was that <laughs> cold, <laughs> honey. <laughs> Men ain't supposed to know exactly. about that. So there you go. There you go. So I'm still in the dark. So you're place. happy because you know, there's, a, there's a controversial issue over, what do you feel about the, the kid from Russia where the mom sent him back to Russia? Oh, boy. That's just plain cold. That's wrong. You sign up to take the children, you take the children. Okay. Just because there's something wrong, you send them back. You do that boy with your oh kids. That's part of the risk that boy you took, oh boy. Yeah, and our boys that's are wonderful boys. They're not without challenges. It's got to be we, unconditional. If we were the birth parents of these kids, we'd have different challenges. Right. Yeah. They're children.